ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dark and Stormy Nights. Social media time. <laughs> sure, you can make your announcement. <laughs> okay, you're just staring at me. Uh, <laughs> A uh, quick request for all of you who are actually interested in the podcast. We are on several different sites if you want to see us. Uh, we're on Spotify, Anchor, YouTube. You're probably watching on YouTube, so do we. Uh, and several others I cannot list here because I'm too lazy. We're on several different social medias uh, that include uh, uh, us being on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at uh, DarkStormyK1. We're on Instagram as uh, TDSK underscore podcast. Same thing with Twitch. TDSK, not Titty SK. I wish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> would have been a good handle. <laughs> We'd have a lot more followers if we had Titty. We would, we would, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, but we'd probably, get so ma- we'd probably get so many incels. Oh, sorry, we got banned. Um, <laughs> and now we can't be on Twitch. Twitch. No! There goes our Twitch page. <laughs> We're also on Telenum, telenum.com, uh, uh, as the handle TDSK. We, uh, it's a questions and answering app, so you guys can ask us any questions. You can direct it to somebody specific. We like to hear from our audience. Speaking about hearing from our audience, we're also on Reddit as r slash r slash r slash the darkest storm and No, r slash darkest storm. We never confirmed it because nobody cares enough to look it up right now. It is confirmed. It's literally on Reddit. I don't look on Reddit more than twice a year. So I will get notifications if you guys say anything to Reddit because I run the Reddit page. So questions, answer, all about it. I encourage you to theorize about what's going on. It may actually change the story. So <laughs> we like to do hear it. from you guys. Do uh, it. Tell me what you're thinking. It might be interesting. At us. Let me know how you want me to kill these idiots. You're so aggressive. But with that, well, let's get back into the. Okay. Story. So one last thing. I am Loki, creator destroyer on Instagram. Self promo. So, uh, you know, uh, if you want to know what I'm too. drinking, <laughs> I post it there. So if you lo- if you want to figure out what it is I'm drinking, I post it on Loki Creator Destroyer on Instagram. But beware. If you scroll deep enough, you will see the world's largest bug <laughs> You will. Oh, my God. Yes, that's true. <laughs> is that's that not, an actual thing on my Instagram page? It's very pointy. That's not a joke. Yeah, it's... it's no, I, mean, I haven't seen a lot of your So Instagram my Instagram page. page is memes, beers, uh, yeah... Whatever we do, Memes, like cra- beers, butt plug. crazy shit we do, and yes, there's a giant butt plug. So, <laughs> Fun I'm gonna find that. It's it's in DC no, right no. now. Not right yeah. now. It's, at a, it's an obscure hotel. Of course, it's in Washington DC. Every <laughs> giant butt plug is in Washington DC. <laughs> <laughs> a, a giant gaping butt Tell plug requires a giant gaping asshole. <laughs> no. So the world's <laughs> biggest butt plug is in Washington DC. Are you talking? Are, so the are you saying? Well, technically, the world's biggest butt plug is in Mar-a-Lago, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we said every giant butt plug is in. Washington DC. Does that mean other there are like at some other time or giant another, sex toys? At some time or another. <laughs> Again, every giant pub plug needs a giant gaping <laughs> asshole to fit. Alright, alright. Right. Like we have we have pressed into this shit too long. So last and we left our heroes. They were kind of like stalling at a bar, right? Kind of making themselves known. Cover story. Well no. Hey, they were creating an alibi. Or alibi, that's what right. I yes. And so, what was Augustine doing? Well, currently, Augustine, to them, is staring blankly into a wall, drinking beer occasionally. So you're creepy as usual. Okay. Well, no, <laughs> but at the same time, unbeknownst to everybody else, I'm communicating with a demon that's currently setting shit on fire. So you told him to do what? Uh, I just told him to start setting shit on fire and avoid getting near black ooze. In, but he's okay with the white ooze and the and yes. the green ooze and the red ooze. It's not racist, I swear. Just the black ooze. I wanted to. Yes. <laughs> what is Farham doing? <laughs> uh, you don't want to be. Here? I swear it's not. It's not racist. Shut up. Fuck. <laughs> Basically, that black ooze is just a victim of redlining. I'm just casually drinking, being slightly obnoxious to make sure that I'm seen and known. And my associates are associated with me, so that I, they remember me by extension. These guys. So you're just being Fargram. Establishing your alibi. I'm being a little bit more. And you just made some money. I did just make some money. Okay, not too bad either. I mean, that was a lot of money. Mm-hmm. You did really good tonight. You even got some money from one of the like guards who was walking by. It's like, damn, 
it's a good song. Like, and next thing you know, you're singing your version of whatever Despacito or whatever. The fuck <laughs> you know, it's play. just a tribute. You gotta believe me. It's Despacito song in Elvis. You can name, <laughs> hey, you can name whatever the song whatever you want. Feel free, brand that shit. It'll be a T-shirt next week. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? So if we do actually make any songs, we will date back to the reference. I, I will be writing. If anybody songs here for the is going to make a song, it'll I be Alyssa because she is the. Well, Alyssa and, John, and uh, Potato are top-notch musicians, so. Oh, but, <laughs> you know. You don't do music. I will be writing music for the podcast, so. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear some of the stuff. So. Any musicians out there watching want to give me ideas, DM me on Instagram, Ali underscore Rosa one. Oh, way to plug your Instagram. <laughs> We're so. all just being greedy here. Jesus. Plug guys. your Instagram. No. Potato? I, the only Instagram I, I have isn't What public. are you doing? <laughs> Walking to the back and just sharing what happened on the boat. Okay. I'll plug myself when I got a product. Still in development. Chances are I'm going to be the one who designs all the t-shirts. That's what I'm good at. So. It's racist to design t-shirts. <laughs> He's Every clothing that. brand company ever. <laughs> Nike is racist. <laughs> okay, look, I'm not going to talk about all this because Nike will sue my ass, apparently. So uh, Wait, they're going to sue me for saying that? No, I'm just saying. It was a joke. I mean, The whole little Nas X thing has got me I know. like. It was, it, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. How are you going to sue me? somebody for reselling something they bought? <laughs> just saying. That's fucked I, up. I saw a video on it. I kind of get what. It's about. It doesn't but matter. It's, it's Isn't the precedence that yes. they can now tell you what you can't do, can and can't do with something well, you bought. Well, considering that it's also a parody of a parody that already exists, right? That they didn't go after. They did not prosecute. I can kind of see both. Because there's like holy sneakers, you know. Can you though? Can I'm, can I'm a saying, company tell you kinda. what you can and can't do with what you own? See, that's why I say kind of because I'm still. Confused. Well, when you're reselling and it's got their brand, they're they're looking at it, you know. As, doesn't as, matter. You own it now. Let I know. go. I know. I I bought it. I know. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. He already has a problem with Ferrari suing Dead Mouse. That's when, screwed up because that's private ownership. Dead Mouse. That happens. Yeah, he owned the car, the Ferrari, which had a Nyan cat on the side, and uh, and they went after him for it. So what happened? Nissan gave him a new car, and he told Ferrari to fuck themselves. <laughs> and I don't blame him. Per Ferrari should fuck themselves. So it is Ferrari. I don't know if they want to sponsor or give me a car. I know. It, but I, I'm I look, think Ferrari's a wonderful brand. I, think, I, I, like, I like customizing anything I own. So don't tell me what I can and can't do with my property. You know what I'm saying? I'm Anyways. Saying, if you want to prove Loki wrong, and give me a Ferrari. All right, how about this? But if you want to prove me right, <laughs> uh, the, give yeah, me the Yeah, how about this? Let's get back to the game. <laughs> oh, brand deal here. And in the meantime, we're going to kill shit. You're, yes, let's There's go. You're going to tell Ferrari to sponsor us? What? <laughs> Potato wants a Tesla. I, I gotta say I that I, I I honestly believe that Elon Musk would have my back on this one. Dude's a libertarian. We're close in line with this shit. I'm happy to support anybody who supports me. <laughs> That's very libertarian too, though. <laughs> it's so confusing. It, it's also very. <laughs> everything is confusing. You would be a great politician. I, I didn't know libertarian was so cross, close to being a prostitute, but you know whatever. That is exactly what every libertarian is. <laughs> Libertarians are all whores. Do you want to get all the It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Do admit it. Just admit it. It's okay. I, I think these you. people it's wanted okay. to watch D and D and said they got us yelling Ferrari, <laughs> not uh, Ferrari. They got me joking about like being racist. racist. I <laughs> Dude, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Prostitutes. You don't get this just anywhere. Okay. <laughs> what I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure everyone watching this said this is false peen. advertising and it's clicked Free off. Free the peen. Free the peen. <laughs> We're gonna have to make that sure. All right. Back to the game. <laughs> you can't bring Please. a joke out of game into game. They don't know what it means. They have no idea. Who said that game. we couldn't establish they it? They don't know it. They don't understand. They don't know what's going on. Find somewhere to put it in. People are like, I want to agree with you, but we haven't explained it. Well, we will in a no, later date, but okay. now, let's kill some shit. We've wasted enough time. Yes, please. I know, it's like All 10 right. minutes in. So we're Gosh. drinking. Does anybody see the rosy glow from Jesus, the harbor yet? <laughs> oh, shit, yes they do. <laughs> that <laughs> ship goes up like dry kindling. You want to see it, John? I see it. Or potato, sorry. Is it 20? 
Is it a nat 20? We can beat it, it out. It was a nat 20. <laughs> that boat goes up like you wouldn't believe. So, the powder. I'm sorry, so, is that a nat 20? So, it just explodes. I just want to see Chris is right behind me, right? <laughs> so, here, we can even... What a beautiful nat 20, I First just have to say. I just mumble. Man, I am sad fishing. at this. Yeah, that was terrible. It's a nat 20, believe it. Wait, or the lead I, at the first Are you right behind me? Is it autofocus? No. no, it was terrible focusing. No, no, but I mean, does it have an autofocus? It point? certainly did not autofocus, no. That's sad. I, I apologize, I thought that would do something. <laughs> yeah, you play Despacito to make it up to them. And like okay. that? I can't for both legal reasons and physical capability. Why did you even suggest it? Jesus Christ. I was, I was like making that, a joke. He's gone. Okay. So... Yeah, the ship starts burning and everything. We're going to roll for the crew. To notice it. Oh, mm. shit. Yeah, right off the bat. I don't care if they notice it. it. I just want to see the face. It's a there. giant glowing beacon in the night. They're so going to roughly see half the crew starts to kind of turn their heads. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? And then... So... It takes a moment for the uh, Rafi, the dwarf, uh -huh. and he's telling the story because this is all this guy does. In fact, it's fucking irritating. Like the guy has so many stories, you know damn well that he has never lived through half this shit. <laughs> so he's just like recycling he's other people's stories. Bullshitter. <laughs> okay, and so he's telling the story. He's all anime. He's into it, and he's talking about how this oh. deer with enormous eight foot horns was coming at him, and he grabbed these horns, and then he's like. And he's still acting like he's holding on the horns. And then he's looking. Like what? At the flaming mast as the fire creeps up it. And he's. But he really gets in the story. I know. Wait, wasn't there a guy What's, we left wait. like in the top of the, the crow's nest? No, it, it, what happened was Chacked threw him oh, down right, and okay. he fell three floors and he's now. I thought we were. Oh, yeah, he was. Oh, yeah, he. Yeah. He probably joined the race. <laughs> Amazingly, yeah. he did punch a hole. I forgot Wait, about that. I thought we were supposed to burn a guy alive. <laughs> okay. Well, the and looked like and apple sauce one that. by one, like you see the rest of the crew look at him and he's like, and they look, and they look at the other guys and that, and they're like, and one at a time, what are we fucking they oh. they notice the flaming ship as the the main sail. There's it's, three. Is it Donner? Wait, wait, wait main sails. Is that a boat? And then you can see the fire, and it's beautiful in a way, the fire reflecting off the harbor. But at the same time, that's a problem. The ship is going up. That's, Do that's, they have fire crews in this time period? I think because was, I know they have pumps and shit. I think like, it was usually just people grabbing buckets and throwing. Fire crews were will. voluntary. <laughs> Could you yeah. imagine? It's just a government going. We this is kind of a big city for a volunteer fire department. <laughs> but yeah, the civil services are a little young. But it's right in that time period. Do you want to pay taxes? Because this is what taxes are for. <laughs> Do you want taxes? Because this is how you get, you get taxes. taxes. <laughs> if you want taxes, we can have. A I'm fire just department. saying, it, it's a, it's a, it's run by corporations. Yeah. You think their own self interest they might want a fire department, at least in the corporate area. This doesn't happen to rich people. What? I mean, it's happening. It is right now. It's yeah. happening to a rich person, but this doesn't happen. You to know, rich in today's money, that boat is between one and ten million dollars. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I read that the, uh, a a three sail Spanish galleon yeah. was worth roughly eight point five million dollars. Believe it. And Garza, the richest. That's what today's equipment and tools, though. Gar, yeah, Gar, Garza, yeah, it was worth more back then because it took them months to build it. So, yeah, it, this is today's money because we could build this in weeks, not years. Okay, out of character. Holy shit, <laughs> we. We just so it, it will take them. Millions. It will take them a minimum of a year to replace you gotta this one ship. People that own boats. Well, mind, king's own boats, corporations own boats. Yeah, the, yeah, the shit inside, right. the cages, now, the crew are all the dead. The great thing is, it's insured, but do you know who insures Garza Shipping? Garza? Garza Shipping. <laughs> so Garza Shipping is also paying for Garza Shipping. It's just a loss. Well, who's paying for <laughs> Garza Shipping? Loss. Garza Shipping? Garza Shipping? So, the, you think I'm being weird about this, but this is what <gasps> East India Trading Company would have done. 
Oh shit! I've always kind of compared well, them with Easter. I just had a brilliant that's thought. Who, that's worthy of my evil base. character. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> every bone, sinking every bone. Is that what you're thinking as well? No. Who would be more distracted and not at home than somebody whose eight million dollar boat's disappearing? Just saying. Oh. It's a good time to kill him. So, but oh, an eight invade the house. An eight eight point five million dollar ship just turned so, into a fifteen million dollar loss because the cargo went down with it. Oh yeah. And it's even more of a loss. Well, it's been a dock for a while. They might they probably have a, a load in a lot of the sure. ships. Sure. Well, and I told Although you. Started reloading no, it. no, but I told you guys, you guys know the cargo that they were unloading it by crane. So they were unloading a couple pallets at a time by crane. Oh, he lost so a lot of the wrist barrels that came oh, from somewhere. So, what, and most of what you noticed on the ship was the 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 human cargo, the wrist right. cargo, which is why and, we did it. Holy shit, that's even worse because they cargo. pay people to get those people that are now people that are out of people, people, people. So this was a what? <laughs> what you could tell of this operation was it was a human trafficking operation. Yeah, what nationality would we think these people belong to? There were various. They were uh, most of them. There were few, a few Delmarians, but most of them were northern. Oh so are we God, talking like Nor? Are we talking Leiden? They somebody went along the 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 um, the, coast, we say the west coast. Okay. I think they were traveling by Vale. That's how they got all the risk. Is the guy the the warlock that we're trying to kill, which was the original intention. Is uh, probably taking risks from his uh, that part of the veil, bringing it into. Yeah, the, somebody's brokering it, and who else but him? I mean, honestly. And he also did have a massive fortress, so it could be possible that he was also getting goblins to round. Question is, what the hell is he getting out of this? Who? Money, power. Eh. The warlock or yeah, yeah, Garza? Yeah. yeah, what's he getting out of Garza? Fuck well, that might be something to investigate. Because, I mean, money? I mean, really, is that worth all the effort? Is that really our word right now? Like, there's a giant ship that has, like, gunpowder and shit on it that's about to explode. Let's yeah. <laughs> and while it makes all that noise, let's go rich, uh, invade the rich side. It also destroys any other galleons that may Question. be nearby. Yeah, speaking of, like, how close are the galleons to each other? Before we get to you, do you have anything you want to talk about? I know what I need. It's your turn. I need some before we do this. Uh... Mm. I think it was a half. No, you're just good with this? Okay, what was your question? How close together are the galleons? So, like, so what explodes? You the have other? a nine foot wide out. dock oh. before the next galleon over. That. So, fairly close. So, if like one explodes, it's it will take out two. And, and I can like, easily do that. Is I mean, that the entire dock, like, still occupied, like, barely? No, no, I get it. Like, heavy traffic? So, not at this hour, no. We're talking it's about 3 a.m. Right, okay. mm -hmm. but there is stuff on the dock. I mean, I mean there will there are pallets full of sure. cargo on the docks, mm -hmm. and also and the there are some guards Charles walking up and down the dock. There's over. a little bit of human I issue there too. Had the uh, okay. that prestige class. I think we should go before the ship explodes. What? I thought we were going to do that. <laughs> what? There's a there's a something burning in the background. But I mean, fourteen. What are you doing? What do you mean fourteen? Just what are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm still next to him. We're just observing the fact that things are burning. You're just watching as the people are frozen in time. Yeah. So to the people. Well, once they leave, I'm gonna leave. So to to the the nine people sitting here, get up and start like walking and then slowly increasing their pace towards the ships. There are seven left. Uh, is the Odin? door still there? What? Is the door still there? With us. For the time being. Yeah, then I'll wait till he's gone, because I don't want him to note me leaving in the opposite direction. Well, <coughs> regardless, he might be dead. If this ship, ship is almost in full blaze. But the main mast is the big deal. You know a ship is done when the main mast starts to burn. <laughs> Um. Oh, uh, I'm gonna join Augustine and Parker. Okay. Like, do you see this Chris? shit? That's uh, crazy. Have me and Tim return to the bar. 
you're yeah, you're approaching it now. You can reach the corner post. Alright. Um I think I'll just like try and locate where the rest of the group is and go to them. Okay. Why? Because I'm returning. Twelve. Oh. Um Fargrim. Yes. That that's a ship that's on fire. Should we do anything? I mean... What, what, when I turn to on us, um, we have other things we could do. But yes, we I, sh- mean, I mean, we, should we, we, we usually help people, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, this shit's fucking crazy. Wait, there's only this one ship on fire, right? At the moment. Okay. It's bad, though. Fargrim, I think I've seen too much for today. Let's find an end. That ship isn't ours and whatever. Let's go. I like the Only idea because I could uh, oh just, uh, rejuvenate my spells. We're done I think right now is a great time <laughs> if we were to uh, Five. break into it. Uh, you know. Mm. Oh. Just saying. I, I, I think there's no time like present for something like that. I cast messages and I whisper what under my breath Fargrim, shut the fuck up. Ooh, He's right there. And I, I, and I like. Uh, I have my head down, but I nod towards the uh, dwarf in front of us. The mast from the ship falls to the next ship over. It, it straddles the dock. This is why alcohol was invented. <laughs> to go. To go. To, to go. run away from my problems. We this is an alcohol. These sailors, like, it's PTSD also a good way to free the pee. Oh my god. <laughs> Five more sailors stand up. That's seven. Two more are sitting there watching, including the dwarf, uh, which you believe now you remember the name is Raffi. This is their entire fucking and, home. And he's like, play. and he is, his eyes are yeah, wide open. Just a job. And he's like, uh, I know, but like they're home away from home. Uh, no, it's their ass on the line. <laughs> and he pauses a moment. Are you doing anything? Uh... I, I I don't know what I would do. So I I I I'd find. Raffy turns <laughs> to the other guy and says, "Do something." It's your turn. Who's the other guy? Just out of curiosity. Just some big bald guy, six three maybe. <laughs> He's got a shitty ripped up black and white striped shirt. Uh, I'll walk closer to Pris. <clears throat> what the fuck is happening? I, I was know. drinking, listening to a story one moment, and now I hear. Uh, I'm just. I don't know. Shit's was, blown up. I was getting Tim. I didn't do it. You can hear some kind of bell, and it isn't. Gung gung, gung gung, gung gung, gung gung. Is the is the port gonna catch on fire? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Let's find an end, dude. At least let's be safe. The next tavern over, in fact, has an inn. Farther away from here, maybe. (laughs) (laughs) I don't trust our fishy neighbor. (laughs) In fact, I've never trusted a bearded clown. (laughs) Oh, God. Hey, maybe... I think we should take... uh, Fuck, what's his name? The cyborg guy. Can't remember his name. Cyborg. Alfred. Alistair? Alistair. Alistair. Sorry. Alfred. Sorry. I'm tired. I don't even know where he is at this point. Where'd he go? Where I have he no go? idea. I think he returned he come? home. Oh, he's, oh, uh, he's right there. Uh, regardless, I think we should take him home. Uh, oh, we lost his gem. No. No. <laughs> his recording gem. Let's get to an inn, maybe not too close to here, because <laughs> honestly, fire hazard, I'm tired. I drank too much today, man. Regardless, we do need to take him home first, since he's not with Did us. Did he right not now. return home? Where is he? With us right now, I imagine. He didn't say he was departing. Is he, is he with us still? You didn't notice an 11 foot tall friggin' cyborg thing. I've been drinking. <laughs> yeah, so, so. And also, it's called an alibi. <laughs> he is sitting off to the side, yes. But he is like 
twice your size, so he should. I'll like, walk over to Alistair. Hey man, let's uh, let's get you home. No. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, man, sounds fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll get. I'll just get you guys caught. Uh, for what? We didn't do anything. We were just exploring the harbor. Oh yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Let's go. Fogger. So are you just taking him back, or? Well, I, I wait for him to follow me. I call for Fargram. Chris. Blythe. <laughs> I remember your name. I was fucking with you. Blythe. You Let's asshole. <laughs> you fucking horse's arse. <laughs> Have you know I am a horse's horse! <laughs> Jackass. Uh, um, <sighs> let's return him back to his, uh, his place. Sure. There you go. Alright, well, I guess we find uh, transport and getting the fuck out of here. Okay. So are you all going to take him home? I asked for Pris, him, Blythe to come along and I, I guess right. we're all coming. His home district is roughly 20 minutes away. Okay. 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 It's on the other side of the wharf. That's the long part. You could travel along the wharf, but there's checkpoints and stuff like that <laughs> to leave the wharf area. And eventually you get in there. And as you get over there, you can witness as the ship slowly disintegrates into the bay. You're not sure what it's taking with it. But it definitely looks like there's more fire than the ship alone will take. And eventually there's a couple of points to where there are explosions. You can see that some kind of like um, gunpowder sets off or what have you. So. So we're at the home district now. You're his home district, which is the far end of a small merchant district. Uh, is anybody, These are craftsmen. Is anybody around to uh, hear us? Well, so he'll lead you into, you remember the courtyard? Mm -hmm. Yes. So he'll lead you in the courtyard and there's a little old lady like cooking and stuff like that. And, and he greets her as Mrs. Sims or whatever. And she offers you all sausages and beer and you can hang out and drink and eat if you wish. Yes, I will. Of course, that sounds lovely. So, yeah. sausages and beer with Mrs. Sims. You remember the tree? Yeah. So, you guys are all hanging out under the tree. Is there any cats? So, there, <laughs> is, there you can see there some cats. But I'll tell you what, out. almost any time, any given point in this town, there's a cat somewhere you can fucking hear. Ooh, okay. <laughs> 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 you have pet all the cats! Meow. Meow. No. 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 by all the cats. <laughs> I'm gonna get killed by some cats. <laughs> Last hit point taken away by a fucking cat. cat. <laughs> I, got my, I can't believe I got my ass handed to me by a cat! That just seems like a you trait. <laughs> sitting there, just like on your last leg, just please help me. This <laughs> All right. We're in a courtyard. You're surrounded by several businesses and, and residences. So a lot of these places are businesses on the bottom, residents on the top. You know, you know, one of those is an artificer, one of those is a jeweler. You're not quite sure what the other ones are. And there's the old lady with a little grill made out of, like, a barrel. Just enjoying my time, chilling. Just, so just hanging out, having a, a beer and a sausage? Okay, Fargrim, did you go with them with all this? Or yeah. You? Okay. Beer and a sausage? Sounds good, actually. Okay. I can do that. Everybody? Everybody, you can, yes. Watch me fail. Oh, minus 21. Wow. You didn't fail, you lied. So, uh, strangely enough, this little tiny tight knit community of only a few people, you were able to gain everybody a five fame. So, add plus five to your fame. Wow. That's crazy. Somebody <laughs> here so 11. sang your praise. Wow. When you told the story. Eleven pain. <sighs> and uh, it becomes a cookout. The clan cookout. Okay, let's not do that one. Hold on. <laughs> this is Port Elmar. These are Latino people. 
These are our people. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts. What? what? I, hit, I hit the metal. Oh. Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> or wait, wait. Latino forever. Latino forever. Anyway. Odin's just left out. This isn't yeah. racist. We're actually Latino. Yeah. If any of you are wondering. Except I just for never one. go except outside. Except, except for one. Minus one. I right. just don't go outside. That's why. We'll make him honorary Latino. Mm. Yes, we are very pale Latinos. I just look white as fuck. Yeah, we're that we're that kind of Latino where we give we're able to give honorary <laughs> Latino so, privilege. So don't call us out on racism. <laughs> <laughs> just call us out on stupidity. We cool. We cool. Feel free to call me an idiot on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. I already call me, I already call myself an idiot on my Instagram. So. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Well, it's a lovely night, but it's lit up. You know, you can see the the night sky is a little lighter than it should be, and you all know why, and everybody's trying to ignore it, and maybe you're doing a good job of that. Um, trying to think of, what's the best way for me to, ro uh, everybody to roll their, I don't know, their morality on the situation there. Uh, uh, that you know that that that, that, that instinct. I can tell you what. I'm, I'm was. talking about that that gut feeling that makes you like, man, I'm like that guilt, like, that internal guilt of what you just did. Just what did like, I do that was wrong? A wisdom save or something. <laughs> what did Maybe a wisdom, you think? That was wrong. That, that, was was that burnt down. Like, I didn't do anything. You committed a crime. We, no, no, I did not. I'm sorry, but you. Okay. You were, against a man. Go against the, uh, you were a party to a crime. <laughs> you I had was, a, I oh, this. come on. Don't act like none of you have murdered a family of five. Oh, no, we might have committed mass genocide. Wait, wait, wait. I'm definitely killing right, people. I wait. liberated cursed souls from an infection. We actually did save a bunch of innocent people from a human trafficking. Yes, if operation. anything, I feel pride. I give no shit. Well, sorry. Augustine gives no shits about Garza. He can burn it. Pyre. So you guys are all cool with what's happening out there. What? I mean, that the I fire might spread? Okay. That, that's a city's problem. I mean, I feel slightly bad about that. Yeah, if it isn't... <laughs> I, would, I, I was going to no say pills. I feel slightly okay, bad about the fire. What else is it? But that's the bad engineering. That's bad engineering. Of what happened tonight. It, it's of what I did? Not at all. What might come from that? Maybe. It's going to yeah, dig probably. at his mind. So yeah, what, what do we roll about this, right? <laughs> what do we roll about this? Uh, I mean, I don't, know. I don't know. What are you what trying did to you do? Something to public service? Wisdom. He I was thinks wisdom, wisdom checks. What do you all think? Wisdom. Wisdom checks. Are you all okay with wisdom That's checks? That's the same we do for uh, uh, morale. Okay. All right. Roll a wisdom check, everybody. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Watch me fail. Eight Watch me fail. Eight Sixteen. Twenty-two. Eighteen. Eighteen. I'm a priest. Four. Okay, so, so eighteen. You guys suck. <laughs> well, well, I'm going again, to what do I do? <laughs> Charity? As so, well, right, honestly, right. I feel like that's fair because again, we ended a human trafficking <laughs> operation. I burnt down the city. Don't be fuck you to Garza. <laughs> yeah, that dude's a piece of shit. The uh, what? I will tell you that I will well, give myself. I'm not saying that. don't say fuck Garza. I'm saying. <laughs> no, I understand where you're coming like from. A fully, yeah. parallel ship caught fire. Womp fucking womp! <laughs> <laughs> what oh, do you fucking do? <laughs> yeah, I don't care about the All ship. All is the fair and love and war and war no, no, and bloodshed no, 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 and no. war. The ship, one, <laughs> was infected with evil. No, no, the parallel <laughs> ship caught fire. Well, oh, that's, that's unfortunate. I feel bad. Well, but they belong to corporations and kings. They'll, they'll fucking be fine. Was it also oh, a galleon? <laughs> These are peasant okay, boats. Who fucking cares? They had the money for the galleon. It sucks fucking dick. Please. I mean, it might bankrupt a company or two. It could. That's fine by me. It's corporations. No, yeah. please. <laughs> it's no, like, please. I mean, it is livelihoods. I, I feel slightly bad. You know what? I, I, I'll i tell them this one thing. Why are they fighting? Free the motherfucking peen. That's all I got to say about Why? this issue. <laughs> Just want to We're gonna tell in. the people of Puerto Del Mar. Is this your new fetch? She yeah, still wants to be a t-shirt, doesn't she? Yes, I do. We need to all. You are so desperate for a t-shirt that you're gonna go up on a freaking podium in front of everyone in Puerto Del Mar and say, "Free the Pete." Is that what you're saying? 
<laughs> yes. Oh my god. It's too it's too inorganic. Isn't that like Okay. <laughs> In the end, you all rolled well enough. It was a lovely night. As much as it should have been ruined by morality, none of you seem to have a moral obligation to this city for what happened. I don't know that we did this anything. We just exploded the <laughs> yes, That's exactly that's, it. That's this exactly is what, what, what did we do? Okay, we explored the docks. We hung out with our new robo what friend. What a lovely night! Oh, I don't remember, remember doing oh, anything the at ship. the docks. People are, people are dying. Cool. I don't remember doing I'll anything at the that. docks. <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> that said, you made it through the night unscathed by your immoral acts. <laughs> uh, it was lovely. You're. you're you all fell asleep drunk around the tree in the center of the courtyard. I, I'm not planning to get dragged. Oh, Plus, yeah. I'm a dwarf. It was, it was a warm, fuzzy <laughs> drunk. This isn't hammered. It was that warm, fuzzy drunk that you wake up the next day and there's no hangover. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, adorable drunk. And and Alistair has put on his his more simple suit with the, like, blades and, the, you know... And the prosthetic arms, and not the whole like body armor thing that makes him twice your size. Chunky boy. Right. So, Chunk. and he's just hanging out with everybody. It's not like this that intimidating structure that he can be. And uh, you wake up with the cat, uh, 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 Alyssa. Aww. The cat is like resting on your chest. Aww. So. <laughs> is it still sleeping? It is. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not going to move then. It's purring, <coughs> it's purring like a Mac truck. All right. Keep in mind, where's, if you touch it, it'll right take now. you forever. I won't so. move. I'm just going to lay there like... <laughs> Alistair is resting against the tree. Is he awake? So, uh, you don't think so at first, but he has got this, like, pincer thing. And he lifts a beer to, like, lifts his drink to his mouth. And he just, like, kind of... Because you can't, you know, he his body is covered in this, like thing that keeps him like breathing like an, a modified air he isn't breathing like normal air yeah. um, so you see this the, the steam go pss, you know out from his uh mask uh i'll go over next time is there anybody like, nearby that isn't a part you're of the all group? around the tree oh okay is there anybody nearby that isn't a part of the group that might be able to overhear let's say a low talk voice uh, well, the old lady who cooked for you guys, and there's a guy who runs a cigar shop. So you discovered that's a third shop is a cigar shop. He handles cigars. All right. Well, He's there. Just so, uh, just for extra precaution, I think I'm going to use uh, messages and just whisper um, to Alistair. We do not discuss what happened yesterday, just so for all of our safety. Nothing happened yesterday besides us just hanging out. Uh, he was like, for real. For real. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't want it brought up in discussion even in sure. private. Program? Well, I don't either. Yes. Just <laughs> Yesterday just didn't happen. It didn't exist. This weak ass human beer gave you a buzz, but not much else. Okay. I but here you are. It's dawn. Really didn't want to get drunk all night. I wanted to they break into a house. Smoke in the sky. <laughs> uh, I wanted to commit breaking and entering. You can see smoke in the sky. A yeah. few embers still remain. I'm debating. You wear armor. I wear armor. He's a rogue. I'm sexy. Yeah, she's what, a bard. Uh, she's kind of roguish. Musician weirdo. And she sees in the dark, which is nice. Sexy thief. And blends into the dark. Okay. Bearded <laughs> We either re 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 yeah, hire right. a bunch of thieves I can't trust <laughs> yeah, Jesus to Christ. do something really bad against someone dangerous that I'd never do it against, or where can I get a ring of silence? Are you for real right now? I am. Are you for real real? Like for like real? Like you real? want me to tell you where for you're going to get a magic item? I'm saying I want to look around town and see if I can figure that out. You can look around or town. boots of silence or something like that. I don't know. Whatever the magic device, cape of silence. I don't care what it is. So you just want to be a fat ninja. 
<laughs> want to be fat ninja. I want to somehow walk Welcome around without sounding like a tin can falling down steps. So you're going from metal meatball to quiet metal meatball. Got yes. It. So I won't be any more agile. Just be quieter. Fat ninja. Okay, Beverly Hills Ninja it is. You are a fat ninja. Please oh stop, please. I'm 500% dead ass when I'm saying that. I hate that. <laughs> All right. Waddle, waddle, ninja kick. Stop. Okay, stop. we're done. God. That was bad. That was terrible. I feel yeah. the need to cleanse y'all's um, ears. Hammer smash. I mean, there is a magical tower here. There's a rich economy that trades in every... You know what? I'll ask the dwarf. Who? Uh, the only one I know. Uh, no, well, no. The guy, uh, the guy. Actually, the yeah, he would be good, but he's busy. Um, <laughs> what? On an unrelated note. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's busy. Womp womp. You're a dick. Okay, um, what's uh, no. going on? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> the dwarven priest. I'll ask the dwarf. Potato, what's going on? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> What what exactly is going on with this thing? He asked which dwarf. You know, the Raffi? And I'm like, no, no, he's busy today. <laughs> he's dealing with his entire livelihood burning down in front of his eyes. No, right. he dealt with that last night. Well, when you devote your life to piracy, I'm was, sorry if it goes okay. bust. So <laughs> I think that, that, that our listeners know about Temple Street, right? Did that make it on the air? That was on the air, yes. Okay. For a short time. So you want to go back to Temple Street yes. and talk to the Dwarven Cleric. Besides, i got to get rid of a bunch of wrists anyways. Did I, did I tell anybody what their name was or anything? You did, but... I, I'm sure started. it was like overshadowed by like static. Not, not Wait, hold on. When did we go to Temple Street? Temple the Street was like episode s- episode two, maybe. Episode, episode two? two? No, 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 no. It was the no! S- no second day that we've been playing. All I'm is, did it make it out? You're, you're the it only was one who was listening. Um. Well, I'm. You I'm guessing. Well, I'm guessing that was episode ten or eleven. But I mean, but it was there. It existed. Um. I'm sure the names were. Um. Did know, given overshadowed, uh, overshadowed is, by static. You know, you know, for the audience's benefit, we've had technical difficulties and a lapse of time. <laughs> so well, let's just call him Gemini. Who? Gemini. I thought Gemini. it was so simple, like Brian the Dwarf. I don't know, like, why is it? Because it's Why are you being so complex? It's not. It wasn't Brian! It was Ben. <laughs> oh, Peter. Let's do Peter. It's Morph the Dwarf. It's not. <laughs> no, oh, what the fuck? Oh, God, that's. <laughs> Gorf? I, I my name is Gorf. Gorf the Dwarf. I, nice Stop! To meet, nice to meet you! Why did you sound like Kermit the Frog? I was gonna say, don't do the Kermit voice! What? Stealing all my magic. I will die laughing! <laughs> I hope. You're gonna kill you me! You can't take a dice from me because you're so cringe. <laughs> I hope. I am more to do. Alright, um, how much cringe damage do I need to take? I'm gathering a dice right now. Three. Three cringe damage? Okay, it's gonna be more than just a d6, pal. It's not even a d6, it's a double! Sorry, I'm blind! <laughs> Did you guys like recover part of your hit points from last night's rest? Yes. Yeah. I didn't. Because I forgot. I'm not I'm not about to die anymore. Well that's good. I'm not about to die. I was at 80. <laughs> well, I'm a priest, so I'm pretty sure I'll resolve all that. Before we go to bed, use whatever mana to true. heal us all off. Stop! No, Ian. seriously, we got two priests. Whoever's got spare mana, just heal, 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 everyone go to bed. You gotta say it though, otherwise it didn't happen. Oh, oh yeah. Friggin' dice is doing real cringe. Yes. <laughs> I have some magical difficulties that one, that one. fix. I'm too lazy to add all that. that okay. Fine. So. What's happening? Uh, I gotta go over to Chris. Hey, Chris. Yep. I, uh, had two things, first of all. Would you mind helping me recharge my ring so I can... You know, summon. Uh, uh, what's his name one more time? Jack, sorry. Get Jack. Uh, so that just cost me like mana, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. How much does it cost to recharge it? Uh, it was demonic compared. Should be to whatever it would be to cast it. Uh, two, I think. So, yeah. it's the first level is really? 
It's always it's one, it's one mana more than the level. level. It, it's demonic com familiar, demonic familiar. So is that a personal? I level? think that was one of his customs. I think it might have been too. I, he never uh, gave me. I don't know what level is. Charge. No. My dumbass is about to look it up. <laughs> Well, actually, there is a weird familiar spell, and I can't remember what it's called. Uh, how Do you have the card from the character, the creature? The card from the creature? Yeah. I have the thing itself, but... You don't have the creature card? Because you got it from the box. How much mana should I use? Oh, I'll tell you. So this is the part that it's nobody enjoys. Okay, Find Familiar is the first level, but that just gives you low-level shit. Uh, there is one that gives you demons. I think it's in the Warlock section, actually. I think I remember reading this. There's a benefit to reading through this book at least once. <laughs> oh. oh, there he is. Uh, Eldritch. Fiend. You have a pet with a fiend. Uh, so it's, he's a seventh level spell. Holy shit. Seven. Jesus Christ. All right. And uh, for right. your uh, extreme patronage, I will give you some wizard coke. Okay. So uh, add one wizard coke to your pile. What was it called again? Mage powder. I, I gave him. Uh, I specifically stocked up for this one. And also, uh, I occasionally have uh, talked to you about this, but you. Uh, I don't weird. fully understand the spell, but I think you did say something about the spell called contact. Uh, and we're still missing the deer. Oh, sending. Uh, is that what it is? I don't know. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you know, know, actually, Nadir actually did have a single, which kind of is the problem. He, he basically has a telephone that only talks to another telephone, and that other telephone doesn't exist. He has a sending stone, but there's supposed to be a mate out there somewhere. Is it a banana phone? No, it's literally a rock with a rune on it. Oh. <coughs> so. I don't know if that helps you at all. I think to recover from magically the day, we should try and contact <sighs> the deer. What for? What the fuck do you mean what for? We were separated what? in the Fey world. Yeah, now, but he had a job he had to go do. Oh, see, you don't know that. He told us that he was going to disappear, and he told me I didn't tell you that. Never mind. Uh, in the yeah. game. I'm unsure if he's still alive. I mean, I'm not going to doubt that he, if he is alive or not, but I assume he is. <laughs> so, um, I mean, he is a part of it. Even though he is a sociopath, he's a very useful character, person. He's gotten us through some sticky situations, I doubt. We killed two beholders with this motherfucker. Went to one side of the continent to find a Chimera army. He's an invaluable part of our team, so I kind of rather. Are you talking about this in front of Fargrim? Fargrim is doing his own thing, and also it's not. We're not replacing Fargrim. I'm not saying that. Has the all. cat woken up yet? Uh, I'm not sure. Out of character <laughs> time. Like, time. Yeah, it's licking your face. Out of, it's standing all four fours on your chest, licking your face, and purring at the same time. Oh. Purr, bitch, purr. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just presenting an opportunity if Odin ever wishes to return as Nadir, it's possible. I'm interested. I, I see Fargrim as. He's, he's, he's only around until he gets his job done. Unfortunately, you put him in Port of Omar, which means oh. that his job might never be done. <laughs> it's a gift from the cat. Unless somebody in the kingdom's <laughs> like, where have you been for 200 years? You coming home? What the hell? <laughs> so, um, you think you could do it? I mean, I can, I guess. Okay. Um, 
You got Wizard Coke, bro. Sure, I guess I'll use something for a deer. What did the Wizard Coke do for him? Uh, it gives him all his spell slots back. I haven't used it. I just, I'm having it on the reserve. Well, don't forget, I gave you that ring. So oh, I can, I, 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 I always have a lock spell on spell you. Slots. It revives 25 spell slots. Wow. Okay. So if you use it, it'll revive 25 spell slots. It's like you have a radioactive oh, isotope. Yeah, yeah. Almost like you have GPS. What? I gave you my ring. Yeah, yeah. I have a means of tracking you. There we go. Yeah. Fixed. Might be a two-way thing. I no, don't know. I know. That's why I didn't enchant it yet. Can I try to pet right. the cat? I'm not sure you could. So you'd have to layer it on an existing enchantment. What are you doing? Can what I do try to pet the cat? Uh, Go for it. Just alert him of where we are, 13. that I still have the ring, and okay. all of you us are the alive cat. with the dwarf the in The hair on the back of your neck stands up. And yeah. tell him not to oh make God, himself sleep. Oh, God, what am I doing? <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Tell him to try and find us. We're in Porta Del Mar. I still have the ring. We're still alive. You uh, can tell him what else, you, uh, whatever information you wish as well, but that's the bare information I want him to know. So me, so we can finally reunite with our weird acting and genocidal companion. Okay. I'll just send a deer that then for location. <laughs> tell him to try and find us. I'll, uh... <laughs> Okay, so this just gives me a text for my able to talk back. You, no, you can you can message back or something. There's no text messaging in me. I mean, <laughs> oh my oh, god! god. L O L O N G B R B. Do I hear it or is it talking? Nadir would hear and know it's from me. All the cringe. Then what? He would hear it, know it's from me, and then can respond. Okay. Is my character finished with whatever side shit he was doing for the kingdom? It has been a while. Mm. Like way over a month. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of weird shit going on, but I will allow you to send a message to him through me. Mm-hmm. So make whatever message you need to make, but it has to pass through me first. Okay. Okay? I'm not sure what to put it unless... Like, am I finished with it? What was the it? question? I asked, am I currently done with whatever no, no, duty no, 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 no. I was That's doing? No, 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 that's not what matters. He sent, I, he what sent... What was your question? Did, I just told him, like, we're okay, we're here, try and find us when you can. We're, we're here. Like, Porto del Mar. Yeah. Yeah, but did you say we're in Porto del Mar, or did you say we're here in Porto del Mar? I told you to ask for the ring. The, tell him that there's. I still have the ring. Did you say that or no? Well, he, don't metagame... Did you say that or no? I thought you did say, I'll say what you said and whatever the fuck else. I'm sure they write it down and work on a script. But it doesn't sound like they did. I don't know if I did. I might have left that out. Okay. He didn't say that. Fucking Christ. It's an easy task. It's an easy task. Don't metagame. Don't metagame on me. That's what, not cool. What do you it wasn't fucking the city? metagaming. It was obvious. Yes. Well, that's not a problem. Because the librarians contact me through that ring. I could fu- I could figure out the same things or ask the librarians to do it for me. But the real question is, what the fuck are you doing there? And that's pretty far off. <laughs> you know, that's a... Uh, okay. So for everybody at home, Nadir is a separate character. So, Odin is in charge, or initially this whole thing started with his character, Nadir. Fargrim is a secondary character. Nadir stayed in a town called Gallia. Where I inevitably ended up because I, because of my character's background, I was caught in the middle of a heist. Gallia is a small kingdom on the far east coast, right? Mm-hmm. That is embroiled in strange political dealings, espionage and and sabotage and all kinds of weird shit. But the crew was dropped here because of their chasing Riss and the sorcerer that is leaking Riss to Garza. There was a lot of things that were corrupting the land and one of the major figures flew here. Right. Well, we assume so Fargrim was attracted to but this Nadir problem to solve. Deer is back in Gallia on the opposite side of the continent. Well, because he thrives on I conflict. I feel like we shouldn't mention this He's because they got to piece the thing together. <laughs> uh, I, have a, I have a ring that Nadir gave me specifically so he could hone in on my location. So, 
It's all very interesting. So we will come back after these messages next week, really, and Nadir will have an answer.